Today we'd learn about problem solving and design. So please open your notes document for this lesson and answer the questions as you go through this video lecture. Learning target for today, I can learn the four step process in problem solving and design. This is also called as the engineering process. You get a problem statement. Um, this is also called as a scenario. When you have a problem statement, the very first step you want to do is understand the problem. The second step is design, a solution. The third step is implement the design. And the fourth step is test and revise if needed. Now let's take a look into the detail what each step means. Step one, understand the problem. Looking at the problem here, we have a problem statement. The first step that we need to do is understand the problem. To understand the problem, you need to know what the problem is. The problem statement is also called as a scenario. Scenario is nothing but a description of the problem or a task. Let's take a look at the example that we just finished, elephant and the cat. The cat moved towards the elephant. The elephant does not like cats and he turns to face the cat and tells it to go away. The cat backs up. Then the elephant turns to the camera and says he can't stand cats. He does not like large cats. Then the cat becomes bigger and the elephant is scared. The elephant looks at the cat, turns around and runs. The cat chases the elephant. When it comes to understanding the problem, in understanding the problem, you would first need to identify the objects. So in designing your scene, you need to know what characters and props that you need in the scene. The objects that you see, usually it's the nouns. Nouns is nothing but the names of the object. Now if you take a look at a scenario here, the problem statement, the cat moves towards the elephant. The elephant does not like cats and he turns to face the cat and tells it to go away. Now when we take a look at a scenario or the problem statement here, the two objects that we have in the animation is going to be the cat and the elephant. Now the second thing that we need to understand in a problem is what actions they can do. So we need to identify the actions. So now when we take a look at our problem statement here, we can see that the cat and the elephant will do some actions. Like the cat is moving towards the elephant, move towards is an action. And the cat, the elephant turns to face the cat, turns to face is the action. The elephant turns to the camera, turns is an action. The elephant says he can't stand cats, says is an action, becomes bigger is an action, turns around is an action and chases is the action. So two things, identify what objects you need and identify what actions you need. A second step is designing a solution to the problem. So we now know we have a problem statement, we understand the problem, how are we going to design a solution? The first step in designing a solution is you create an initial scene at a set up the scene. The second step is you develop an storyboard and we would use an algorithm in a storyboard. Now let's take a look at what is storyboard. Fashion designers create sketches, car designers create drawings, and animators create storyboard. You have the visual storyboard and a textual storyboard. Now what is a storyboard? Storyboard is nothing but the design approach that we would use to create a solution or create a list of actions to perform a task that is specified in the problem statement. Now what is Storyboard? Storyboard is nothing but the design approach that we would use to create a solution or plan a list of actions to perform a task as specified in the problem statement. In order to create a storyboard, we need to identify the design specifications for the animation, like how the objects would appear, how they would move, how they would speak, 
or interact with each other, etc. There are two kinds of storyboards, visual storyboard and a textual storyboard. Now visual storyboard is visual, that means you can draw it or you could create scene by scene sketch. So visual storyboard is nothing but you take the problem and break it down into sequence of major scenes. Now let's take a look at the example in here again. This is our scene one where the cat moves towards the elephant. We have our initial scene where there's a cat, there's an elephant. And in our next major scene, we say elephant tells the cat to go away, away with you. Cat becomes bigger and says ah. The cat is now bigger, the elephant says ah. Elephant turns around and runs. The cat is chasing the elephant. Now also, if you are an artist, you could draw this or sketch this picture by picture. So if you're not an artist, you can always create a textual storyboard. Textual storyboard is nothing but a to-do list for the step-by-step -step actions that you need to animate. Now programmers call this an algorithm. And we did create our first algorithm here in Elephant and a Cat project. An algorithm is more detailed than the sketches. It has more details. Now the third step in problem solving is implementing the design. When we talk about implementing the design, it means writing our code. Now when we write our code, it's very important that you do incremental development. That means you write a couple of lines of code and then you test whether these two lines work correctly or not by clicking on the run button. So this is called incremental development. That means writing few lines of statements and then test to see if this is working correctly or not. Do not write the entire program at once and then test. Now when we talk about implementing the design, it means we are taking our algorithm that we wrote in a Word document and convert it to the computer program. To do this, we will just write instructions or code by dragging the tiles into our. Now the third step in problem solving is implementing the design. When we talk about implementing the design, it means writing our code. Now when we write our code, it's very important that you do incremental development. That means you write couple of lines of code and then you test whether these two lines work correctly or not by clicking on the run button. So this is called incremental development. That means writing few lines of statements and then test to see if this is working correctly or not. Do not write the entire program at once and then test. Implementing the design, that means we are translating our algorithm that we wrote in our Word document step by step into our computer program. And to do this, we would drag the tiles into the code editor. The last and the final step for the problem solving is testing. We need to check to make sure our program runs correctly. Is it doing what it's supposed to do? So in order for us to test, we would click on the run button and when the run button is clicked my first method is executed and all the statements in my first method will be executed in sequence so when you click run you should be able to see the animation as per your instructions now testing also involves when you test you may see that your program does not work as you want it to do so say for example you want this cat to move forward maybe a few steps, a little bit, but the cat is moving very close to the elephant. So you want to fix that. So many times when you test, you want to revise your code that you wrote, make some changes. So instead of saying uh, move towards elephant three meters, you could say two meters. Revise your code and then test it again and then you should see the correct animation as per your instructions. Now let's do a quick review on the four-step process in problem solving and designing. 
the very first thing you need to know is your problem statement that's called the scenario once you know the scenario you need to understand the problem you need to know what objects are needed and what actions will be performed the second step is you need to know the design that means you want to create a storyboard you want to create an algorithm or you want to go picture by picture so you create a storyboard either a textual storyboard or you create a visual storyboard then the next step is implementing the design that means you write your code keep in mind when writing your code you do incremental development that means write maybe one line or two lines of code test it and see if it works correctly if it does not work correctly fix your code right there and then test it again and if it works correctly you move on to the next section of your solving the last step is test your code you want to check to see if it works correctly or not so make sure you click on the run button test it and see if your program is doing what it's supposed to do so throughout the semester when we write a program in Alice, we are always going to follow these four-step process. Understand the problem, design a storyboard, implement the design by writing your code, and test and revise if needed.